God is doing something amazing in Norway right now. Many people are being saved, many people are being healed, and several people think that what God did at Asbury University earlier this year might continue or have a parallel in what's going on in southern Norway. So there's this small village called Vigeland, which isn't known for much. I think before this happened, the main thing that people associated Vigeland with was statues of naked people. That's a thing down there for some reason. But it's nowhere special, right? And there's this prayer house where people have been meeting to pray. Sometimes not too frequently, I think for the last couple of years. They've gathered there once a month, and when they've gathered, there have been 10 to 15 people gathering. So it hasn't been much for the world, but it was enough for God to use. For the past two months, these prayer meetings have grown in size and in frequency, and they are now gathering hundreds of people. They had to move out from this prayer house to a local church in the area called Betania. And now they can't fit there anymore either. Um, two Sundays ago, there were 800 people joining uh, this revival meeting. And so now they're looking to rent a big facility, a sports uh, event uh, facility to, to have the meetings in. And people are being saved. People are being healed. The evangelist Arthur Robertson, who is doing much of the preaching, says that all from teenagers to really elderly people have received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And between the revival meetings, they are working hard to ensure that people who do receive Christ get proper follow-up so that they're actually going into local churches where they live. An eyewitness called Terje Høyland reports about a woman with ME being healed and being able to run several kilometers after she joined the revival meetings. Another one who had severe pain and all that pain went away. Uh, he reports about an entire family giving their lives to Jesus. And a man who had severe pain in his right hand after a shooting accident, uh, he approached after the evangelist who said, why don't you greet me <laughs> with a proper greeting with the hands? And he explained to him, I have this injury. It, it hurts just by touching it. And Arthur said, I believe you are healed. Now touch my hand. And so they shook their hands and this man just started crying because he was completely healed, even though the doctors had no hope of him regaining the strength of his hand. Now, is this a continuation of the Asbury University revival that started earlier this year? I think we should be careful with assuming that, you know, revivals start in the US and then spread to other areas of the world. Even the Pentecostal movement, which is often described as having its origins in Los Angeles at Azusa Street, didn't actually start in the United States. There were Pentecostal Christians who spoke in tongues and experienced miracles in India, in Armenia, even before Azusa Street. So I suspect what's happening in Norway now is an independent work of God. It's the same God, <laughs> but I don't think that it's necessarily a continuation of Asbury. I'm sure there are several Norwegian people who have been inspired by Asbury, but I think that what God is doing, what the Holy Spirit is doing, is independently on whether people have been following revival news or anything of that sort. And as I live in Sweden, I am really excited about this. There has been uh, an increased willingness to evangelize on this side of the border as well. There have been several campaign meetings just the last couple of months here in Sweden where loads of people have been saved. Um, the latest one was very recently last weekend in Örebro where hundreds of people gathered to listen to an evangelist called Sebastian Staxet who uh, sang songs about Jesus, shared his testimony, and invited people to become Christians. And just two months before that he had another campaign meetings where at least 60 people came forward to receive Christ as their savior and the campaign organizers made sure that they had their contact information uh, being brought to local churches so that they could carry these people on on their journey with Christ. 
My hopes and prayers are that these revival meetings will point to the full gospel, that Jesus Christ is the one who saves us and gives us eternal life. He's also the one who heals and does miracles, and he calls us to promote peace and justice and a better world for all. All of those things are a part of the kingdom of God, and that's what the life that God gives is really all about. Thank you for watching and God bless you.